Hello kids, Steve come back at you for Saturday morning cartoons and as you can see we're going to do things a little different today but first you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. You know what? So let's do this. Oh boy. Tasting so good. Today I'm going to unveil some of my better non-sport packs. I did bag them up, put them in order, OPG, which are the ones I'll show you today, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, and a couple of 2000s. Those, I'm pretty sure I know the years, but they don't have years on the pack, so I'm going to leave them like that. <clears throat> so first, Let's start with the OPG packs that I've accumulated. Now, I still have a Welcome Back Cotter coming in the mail. So that obviously is not in here. But let's start out here, and they are all OPG. So, look at that. Batman Returns. Yes, the backs are all in Canadian. We have the run of the different packs. For Stupid Smiles. Again, they're all OPG. And I will put them back as we get there. And OPG Wacky Packages. Wacky Packages, first of all, are rare enough. Now, I have an OPG to add to that. We have Ghostbusters 2 OPG, and it weighs 4 grams. Good for them. The two different Batman packs of OPG. These are all in mint shape, sealed, everything. They are all really cool. How about the two different Dick Tracy from OPG? Imagine getting a French Madonna rookie card. Who would have thunk it? Freddy. My second favorite, Freddy from Canada. That's right, Last Trap Spaceball. You still take the lead. Very rare. Moonraker OPG. And Reasoning Tells OPG has the weight. And the tops pack has tops right here. Instead of the 15 cent tag. And there's no 15 cents on the tops version. Series 1, Series 2, Happy Days, OPG from 1976. They don't label which is which, so you must know. I do believe Series 1, Series 2. Pretty fun. Never thought I would see Fonz from Milwaukee on a Canadian card. I'm sorry, OPG, but you lost a couple of Fonzie cool points doing that. So, like I said, I've welcomed back Cotter on the way. I do believe a couple others. And since we still have a lot of time, it's still Saturday morning, and I still have some beer, we'll do the 1980s next. Let us start out with the Mork and Mindy Tops Pack. That's really cool. And that's from 1979. So these are the 70s. Coming up next is the Moonraker. See what I mean? Tops is there. And there is no price on it. But those are always fun cards. Never saw the movie. Buck Rogers. I remember the TV show. This was cool. This was a fun, fun show to watch. I'm glad I found a pack. Star Trek, the motion picture. These you can find pretty much all over the place for about 4 to $5 a pack. If you find them less, buy them. We do have Black Hole. That's very good. Again, all these are mint, sealed, gum intact. That's important. Here's one you don't see very often. The Dolly Show from Dolly Parton. Because, you know, 
When her and Kenny Rogers went out drinking one night, he spilled a martini down her dress. That's where Islands in the Stream came from. 1976, Space, 1999. Love this show as a kid. My favorite character, who's not even on here, was the blonde chick. Not blonde, bald chick. Who, in her eyes, she would envision an animal, and then she would actually turn into that animal. Grease. Grease is the word. Summer loving had me a blast. Very cool. Very awesome with Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Trivia question. What is in Olivia Newton's John? Anybody? Anybody? Gomer's Pile. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. But it was done by the Bee Gees. Not a bad movie, but could have been better. The best part was the weather vane turned into George Burns. We do have an Elvis pack from Donruss. Those are pretty cool. Uh-oh, you see what's coming up? Series 4. Star Wars, 1977, and I do apologize, Space 1999 was from 1978. That's very cool. Not my most expensive wax pack I ever purchased, either. That's coming up in the 80s. 1976, The Gong Show. Not cheap packs. 1976, Kojak. That is a paper wrapper that they sealed with glue and the gum is about that big and about that thick. It sticks out. There it is in this one compared to the rest of it. Very, very nice packs. Here's my newest 1976's Hysterical History stickers and card. These are just fun if you ever saw any, or even look them up on the internet, see some pictures. They take some very interesting historical moments and put balloons and sayings on them that just make them a lot funnier. There's an American, or a Topps, Happy Days. You just gained back some of your Fonzie Cool Points. From 1973, 49 years old, and I have couple of these. Tops Creature Feature. Look at that. You got Frankenstein. You got the Wolfman. The Mummy's in here. The Invisible Man, but that's a blank card. Very fun, though. Very mint shape, even though I dropped it. It didn't go far. 1972. This is 50 years old. Donner's Vote. There's no political stuff in here. They're kind of like the 1983 Mad, just sayings and goofy stuff. But they are really cool and fun. So that's my 1970s row. We will get into the 1980s at a later time. You know, and these are all pretty cool, pretty fun. Got a lot of stuff. Several different Garbage Pail Kids, 21 Jump Street, Ninja Turtles, Batman, you know, just some, here's Bo, some good fun stuff in there. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like this, let me know, A, what you like best, and B, should I keep doing this for a little bit on Saturday morning cartoons? We've only got one, two, maybe three weeks worth left. Then we can get back into opening some packs. Like some of my newer pickups. Garbage Pail Kid Blaster Box from two years ago. We have the Adams Family back there. We have, believe it or not, uh, I'm going to make sure. Yes, I do. I have an unopened box of the Backstreet Boys, which may be coming to you, D. I don't know. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you had a great week. Hope today's really awesome and the rest of your weekend goes well too. 
And with that, just be excellent to each other whenever you can. You know, treat others the way you want to be treated. My name is Steve Rademacher, and peace.